So I kept loose. You fucking right, he might be. God damn it, because, man, I'm going to put you guys on the hook to prove to me why he's the fucking best. You tell me why he the best. Yeah, yeah, hell, 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 hell,
is great. But then you know what's going to happen? Somehow, Cotto going to be on motherfucking steroids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They already said that. They already said oh, they, are, they already said it? Yeah, they already said Cotto on steroids since he knocked out Martinez, you know? Oh, uh, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. it. Steroids is a new excuse now for when, you know, you want to take credit away from some shit. Somebody's victory, so. so what? So what? But, no, but steroids, steroids is around, man. People getting busted, yeah. not only in boxing, in every sport. People getting busted in every sport, but you can't. Yeah, everyone's not here, you bro. Can't turn, you can't turn your head to it, man. It's around, man. So we don't know. But I can't say who hadn't got busted by it. Hey, That's hey, why nobody ever bring up the fact that Mayweather could possibly be on steroids? Why everybody else is the possibility for Mayweather? That's what I want to know. Mayweather, Ooh, could be, Mayweather is in the same boat, then you going to say Manny Pacquiao did it, then Manny Pacquiao didn't have no drug test either. But we can't turn around that to it. True, true, true. So, now my next, my next move, man, what y'all think about Triple D, man? I hear a lot of people getting Triple D, my guy, hard time, you know. See? What's the deal with that? Like what, right, what is right. let, let what, me, is, what has Triple G not done? Let, let me chime in on this. Let me chime in on this. Now, I'm, I'm I, I don't know how far all, everybody on here go back. I go back as far as you know, like Evander Holyfield fighting uh, the white Muhammad Kwawi. You know that that was like when I first started watching boxing, and when I started watching back then. I didn't need, like, I didn't need to see, I mean, I know we got a lot more avenues to see people with YouTube and, and, and Instagram and all the other shit, but the post-fight interview was all I needed to see. And when Holyfield had post-fight interviews, he would say shit like, yeah, I want to fight Michael Dokes, or I want to fight Riddick Bowe, or I want to do this in X, Y, and Z. Now, for some reason... A lot of these fighters got this generic ass speech set up about, well, whatever my team say, yada, yada, yada. When it comes to Triple G, Triple G is doing exactly what we want to see in boxing. Triple G ain't had no controversy wins. He ain't had no close decision, questionable fights. This nigga is knocking out everybody. We ain't got no question about nobody that Triple G fought. Not none. Same thing with Keith Thurman. So, why in the fuck is Triple G, I mean, maybe because he can't speak English that well or something. He don't clown and coon or some shit. But Triple G is pretty much the epitome of what I want in a fighter. I'm a boxing fan. I don't give a fuck about niggas uh, talking shit or making porno videos and all that shit. I don't give a fuck about all that. Because I watch boxing. I watch football and basketball. I don't give a fuck about none of they side deals or they shoe deals or they armor all deals or none of that shit. Kevin Durant, a good ass basketball player. Triple G is a fucking fighter. He's he's the epitome of fighting to me, a boxer. I love that shit. I have nothing bad to say about Triple G. The only the only the only drawback of Triple G is the fact that he's so good. That these other bitch ass niggas won't get in the ring with. That's the only drawback. Sergio Martinez should have been fought Triple G. Peter Quillen should have been fought Triple G. How in the fuck could you run around masquerading around with a title belt, a, 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 a belt with some letters on it, calling yourself the middleweight champion when Triple G running around in your division? He ain't running around at 68 or 54. He's running around at 60 with a title, and you running around with a title too, calling yourself the champ, and you ain't trying to fight Triple G? Triple G is the only middleweight champion at 160 in my eyes. And until a nigga beat Triple G, I can't call them niggas the middleweight champion. And that goes for Kodo, Sam Solomon, and, and motherfucking Kid Chocolate. Until one of them niggas beat Triple G... Ain't none of them niggas no champion to me because, first of all, to me, we got to quit recognizing these trinkets, these belts and shit because we, we got to we gotta make champions. Like, if you're going to be a champion in the division, you got to be the champion. You can't be 
the champion, and it's three other motherfuckers running around calling themselves the champion of division. Because if it's three people calling themselves the champion of division, then ain't nobody the champ then, right? So unless you trying to fight the nigga who niggas know is the dude, you can't call yourself the champ, man. How the fuck? How the fuck that? How that work, dog? How that work? That's boxing is the only sport where we got it mixed up where we calling three, four, five people the champ in one division. Triple G is the middleweight champ. Man, I think we need to start um, recognizing all champions. I think we need to kind of push being a functioning body. You know what I mean? Like, we should act like we're a functioning body. For instance, like you say, I recognize Triple G. And I second that. I recognize Triple G as his champion. I mean, the most props to Kodo, but we got to start making who we think is the best. Now, I, now, I understand everybody had their own personal opinion. Cool. Because we need different ideas and different perspectives. But in reality, you got to condense this down and consolidate. It's okay to have your own opinion. And that's why you will bring it to the table to argue a valid point. But I'm with you. I second that motion that Triple G is the champion at 160. Nobody else. I don't give a fuck what trinket they got. You know what I mean? Right. I think that Triple G is the champion. And see, I, I think that's the kind of thing we say. I got to be able to. I got to be able to. So, so who do you think will be them? I don't think nobody at 160 can beat him. I just think, I think Ward can beat him at 168. That's the only fight I got beaten Triple G right now at this moment is, is Andre Ward. But they fight at 168, 168? 168. Not 160. Okay. You know what? So, so at both divisions, the only guy you have that can beat Triple G is Andre Ward. At this moment, yes. Yeah. Okay, so what is that saying about Triple G? So you saying Triple G is one of the top fighters in the world, then, right? Yes, yes. Triple G is one of the Triple G is a real is, is the real deal, man. And Triple G, is, I know why people saying Triple G is Triple G is a like hype job or something. No, Triple G is real. He's a real. He's a real fighter. He's a real well, deal. I just want to clear that up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so he's one of the top top fighters in the world. Matter he's one of the top fighters in the world, man. He's one of the I agree. fighters. I agree. I'm just trying to clear it up. All right. Oh, matter, yeah. matter of fact, how about, how about this? How about this? How about this, yo? Why don't us right now establish yeah. the motherfucking YTBC champion? Because all these trinkets and shit, you know, all these belts keep getting passed around, vacated. You got, wait a minute. You got Sam Solomon. Running around with a belt. Sam Solomon. Can anybody name me anybody that Sam Solomon be that middleweight? Anybody on here? Can anybody tell me anybody Sam Solomon be that middleweight? Anybody? He beat, uh... At middleweight. At middleweight. Anthony. Who? Who? Say it again, Jay. Anthony. I I I couldn't hear you cutting out. I don't know if uh if it's my shit or what, but you. I said, I said Anthony Monday. Anthony Monday. Yeah, he's he ended uh Shane's career with the back. Okay. Well, I say this. I think he beat Felix Strong in last fight, but I say this to talk about what y'all was talking about with the champions. Uh, my little new thing I'm gonna do is I'm not calling these dudes. I'm not calling nobody. A ch- I'm calling the title holder. Yeah, I'm title holders. I'm not calling nobody a champion until they become undisputed. And when you beat everybody who got a belt, that's when I give you because it was like if we just pick a guy and say, okay, I think this guy's the best, and we pretty much doing what the ring and the are doing too. What we should do, or what I'm gonna do. They just call these niggas for what they, they title holders. And when they, like what Bernard Hopkins is trying to do, he's trying to unify them belts, he will be the only champion in boxing. Because the rest of them, I mean, how do we know? How do we know who the champion is at this point in time? You know, Triple G, yeah. Triple G, he, he's a, I don't think nobody can beat him at 160, but he's been avoided. He had a 
guys that got them, them fights, and to them guys get in the ring with each other, I'm not giving them no, uh, I'm not, I'm not giving them no pass because we give, we can get Triple G to say, hey, you know what, Sergio does Triple G, we gotta give him a pass. But then Triple G tries to do a little shady stuff himself. So then get that money stuff as an excuse when they want to duck somebody, but then turn around and carry use on them when they overstep their boundaries. See, Sergio said, I'm not fighting Triple G because, you know, Triple G, that fight's not big enough yet. He doesn't bring enough money to take. Triple G turned around and say the same thing about Andre Ward and, um, and, uh, Eric Sandy Roar. So, like, look, man, those tire holders to me. Yeah, but but the only thing about it, and I agree with you too, said Nate. I agree with you, but we'll never establish anything because those title holders, it ain't. It don't be just the fighters as well too. It's also the sanctioning bodies. So even if we do have a fighter that's on board, the sanctioning bodies are screwed up as well too. Because Bernard Hopkins, we're trying to get him through, and hopefully he can be undisputed. But we don't know if that's going to happen because in that pursuit, he can lose. And we already established here that losing ain't everything. So that's why I say I agree with Rollo to kind of establish one and build from there. And, and, and kind of just, you know, filter it out. You know, basically like you're saying, who's the, it's all right, who's the people champion? Who's your, who, who you view as the champion? I mean, I get it that they're title holders, but it, I mean, at the same time, I think we should establish something. Hey, mm-hmm. Because if we don't, we have if we don't establish nothing, then we just still, just, we, 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 we go off of anything. Now, and we still in the same spot. Now, 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 78, interestingly, what you said was Triple G should go up to another weight class and fight a guy. No, no, no. You, no, you said you said he should go up, or you 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 mentioned him going up and fighting Ward at one sixty eight. Ward, yeah. Now that's a different weight class. Now yeah. at one sixty eight. No, no, no. Let me, let, me, let me explain that for you first. Point. The reason why I said that is because Triple G said. I mean, you know, Sergio said that the Triple G fight wasn't time yet because Triple G is not a big star yet. Blah blah blah. Uh-huh. Triple G turned around and used that against. The potential fight of Andre Ward and Eric Sandy Moore. Yeah, they have a weight class, didn't they? Listen, listen, the reason why that's important is because Triple G and his team stated that they wanted to finish business at 168. All right? 160. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, 160. They wanted to uh, clean up 160, which I respect. Then you hear rumblings that he's talking about. He's trying to make a fight with Chavez Jr. at 168 or Carl Flores. Now, or Mikael Kessler. So you got to think about it. You want to go, you want, you want to, go to go to 168 to fight Carl Flores, Mikael Kessler, or Chavez Jr. But you're not willing to go to 168 to fight Hardy Ward. See, that's the game that these fighters play. Well, but well, to me, but it's, not, it's but a we're different not crowning division, him though. as it's, a 168 champion, though. Right. So we went like, if he, he can do, he can do whatever dealings he wants outside of his division, whether they are uh, up to our standard or not, which it could be some whole shit. But at the same time, at 160, he's that deal. Just like, for instance, Ward is that deal at 168. And I'm saying the same thing that you said about two girls, about one, you know, I see the nigga should be on the 175. But I'm not penalizing Ward for that at 168 because he won't go to 165. Exactly. You exactly. What I'm exactly. Yeah, now, okay, whatever okay. he yeah, does, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. If he do yep. something like that at yep. 160, then that's yeah. the problem. Because it's yeah. not like we're going to say Triple G is a champion at 154 or 168. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Point. Exactly. Yeah. We only, he's only established at 160. Now, whatever he does at 168, whether he go up and fight Ward or Chavez, all that shit is just a uh, that 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 uh, that mega fight thing. But at 160, ain't nobody gonna be called no champion from me, except for Triple G. And unless one of them niggas go beat Triple G, and the same thing at 168, ain't nobody no champion at 168 unless they go beat Andre Ward. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I agree with you know what I'm saying? So. So if 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 he want to pick and choose at one sixty eight, which is out of his division, is a different story. You know what I'm saying? Just like we know, everybody know that the guy he goes up to one fifty four and pick and choose whoever the fuck he want to fight. But technically, he's he's holding some titles there. 
But he ain't fighting the motherfuckers who there. You know what I'm saying? He ain't fight Laura. Canelo had to go fight Laura. And we all know that the Charlo brothers is sitting there waiting and begging for a big fight. Andrade begging for a big fight. Ain't none of them niggas fought. None of them niggas. So who the fuck can be like, who the fuck at 154 can say that they're the champion? Because it definitely ain't that guy. You know what I'm saying? The niggas that people love. They can't know. He definitely can't say he did because he ain't fought. Andrade called the nigga out. And he ain't never even mentioned him. So nobody can say there's no established champion at 154. But Andre Ward is absolutely established as the champion. Anybody who's made any noise at 168, Andre Ward has fought and beat. You know what I mean? So he is. So who, who, who we said that the out of the win classes you think of who you said has established let, let, as a Okay. Alright, let's let's go down the list, y'all. Now obviously Klitschko is the champion at heavyweight. We can say Ward is the champion at one sixty eight. Uh uh seventy five is nobody. Anybody still nope, open? Nope. Nope. I, I don't think there's no champ at seventy five. Uh what you think, sir, Nate? What you think? Oh yeah, I think one seventy five hot. I think that it's what's happening is right right where it should be. I think the Hopkins having two titles, getting ready to fight Kovalev, the way that fight whoever win would have three of the belts. That's a step closer to to that's me whoever champion. win that fight is the champion. Me. That's yeah, a, exactly. that's the champion. Now now it the fight think, now the fight hasn't happened. I think Stevenson so, is a I think Stevenson is a Huh? I can see that too. I can see that. Now, I yeah, I can't. All, I can't really argue fighting. that. They shall be fighting out to see who fights. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. But I see, the thing do, about I this. See see, now wait. Well, now wait. Now see, the thing about that is this: Stevenson was already supposed to have fought either Kovalev or Hopkins. Now, when you start doing bitch ass shit like that, you relinquish. Your realm as the champion because you you only have now when you when we have a division where it's dwindled down to one or two or three people and you ain't fighting none of the motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, that leads me not to crown somebody a champion. Now, yeah. just like all right, let me give you an example. Uh, one twenty two. Now at one twenty two. Who can we say is the guy outside of Rigandau? Who can we even oh, name? Santa Cruz. Oh, say okay, Santa Cruz. Okay, now what's Santa Cruz' biggest win at one twenty two? Huh? Who? What other champion did Santa Cruz beat at one twenty two? He didn't beat another champion, but he just he won a WBC title. Exactly. So okay, so I think Rigondeaux wow. is the reason y'all beat Donaire. <laughs> right, Rigondeaux did beat Donaire. So yeah. with that fight, he has more claim to the championship than Santa Cruz. Now Santa Cruz, now yeah. Santa Cruz can fight Rigondeaux for the right to be the outright straight up champion. And that's what he should do. That's what he should do. See, we can't keep giving these niggas a pass. Just yeah. for having a belt or some shit. Niggas got to fight who the motherfuckers know is the motherfucking deal in these divisions. You know what I'm saying? So we got to quit playing that pussy ass game about a nigga got yeah. a belt or a nigga got an intern title and all this bullshit. We, let's establish a champion. One champion. Okay, keep on one going champion. Because I, I believe that 175, whoever wins the Mile Hopkins Cole, they'll fight his demand at 175. I, I agree. agree. So they vacant right now. 154 vacant right now. And 160 is Triple G, right? And Ward is 68. 68, yeah. And Rigandow is in his spot. And Santa Cruz is on his ass, but Rigandow's still the man. Yeah, yep, yeah. Rigandow's the man. I, w- I will have to say Rigandow got to be the man. And for Santa Cruz to be the man, he got to go and fight Rigandow. 35, nobody. At 40, at 40, I would give it to Danny Garcia. I would say Danny Garcia has done his thing to be the man at 140. Now, yeah, yeah. if he keep pussyfooting yeah. and bullshitting, that shit is going to be vacant in a minute, too. Yeah, I believe he's done his thing up to this point. 
Yeah, he's done his thing to be the, the, I, the I, can, I can say Danny Garcia is the man at 40. Point. Danny Garcia is the man at 40. I like so, I like I like Crawford. I like Crawford. Crawford at 35. Exactly. Crawford is the man at yeah. thirty five. I got you. Five. You are yeah. absolutely yeah. right. Um what I would you, I would man? I would even say Lomachenko <laughs> is very, very, very close to being the man at one twenty six. What was the question? Lomachenko is close to being the man at 126. I don't know who the other dude is at 126 outside of Gary well, Russell. Don't air about the don't air about the fight Walters. Okay, don't Walters. That's a good fight. Now, if well, I if, agree with you, I, think, I, think if, well, I agree with you. I think Lomachenko the man. Now, if the no. winners, if the winners, no, I think he's vacant. No, no, yeah, yeah. If the winners of those fights fight each other. And whoever wins, that's the dude at 126. That's the guy at 126. So if Walters beats Donaire and he fights Lomachenko, and the winner of that fight will be the man at 126. Huh? I would agree. Yeah, I mean, the tough one is uh, 47. <laughs> yeah, 47. <laughs> <laughs> in order, in order for somebody to be the man at forty-seven, they honestly got to beat Bradley and Pacquiao. And y'all, y'all don't be the man. No, 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 to me, that my reckon that champion is Floyd Mayweather at 147. Okay. At 147. Okay. Because, he, because, and I'm not putting all this on wins and losses, he, he has not lost at 147, and he has beat some good, decent fighters at 147. So I'm going to put him at 147 as my recognized champion, and then y'all can go on with y'all. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Now here come the debate. Here come the debate. Now, and now listen. You all ears on this one? Yeah, I'm listening. What y'all saying? I'm sorry. No, do it. Wait, 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 wait. What y'all the grill? No, yeah, you heard. You can hear it. Yeah, I can hear Hell yeah. what you're doing. I know what the day is Sunday. You don't go to work tomorrow too, but I know what you're doing out there. Shit, they ain't even walking. I cover that bunch of some bones. Yeah, man, I might have got some, uh, some chicken on the grill and shit. Hey, right. hey, 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 you Make sure he heard all them, them chicken. Hey, hey, man, we're we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna take us a trip out there to Milwaukee, man. You're gonna have to find us a hotel close by and shit. We're gonna take yeah. us a trip out there and shit, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I ain't in Milwaukee no more. I'm in another part, you know, so I'm I, I, I moved on up like Justin, man. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, wherever you at, nigga, just find us a hotel that ain't, yeah. you know what I mean, an hour away and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take us a trip. So, y'all. so, so, catch that man up before we had his monster at 147. Like your own lane. Okay, so at 147 to me is vacant because you got mm. 147 is the main split of the niggas on this side and the niggas on this side ain't fighting each other. So, that's the most bizarre weight class there is because Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. That guy, uh, Kell Brook, none of them niggas ain't fought Marquez, Bradley, or Pacquiao. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, the only nigga who fought anybody on both sides is Cotto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cotto fought, <laughs> Cotto fought Trout, but it was at 154. I get it. It was at 154. He fought... He fought your boy at 154. He fought Shane Mosley. Uh, Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Cloudy Margarito. Yeah, he fought a bunch of motherfuckers. And then nobody on the other side has fought anybody yeah, on that side. It. The only the only one who fought anybody on that side was uh, 
Marquez, when he came up from 35, he lost in his first fight at welterweight. That's the only fight that, that is on the other side. That's the only fight. The only one. So that fight, that, that division is so in disarray that I can't begin to name a champion in that division. Because I don't know if Bradley could beat Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, or everybody's favorite fighter. I, I just Ooh, I can't say that. I don't so know. I don't know if Pacquiao could beat Keith.